Hey y'all, long time no see, how are you doing? I am here to do a different kind of video and as you can tell by the title, I'm here to talk to you about starting Invisalign. I decided mm, a few months ago to start Invisalign, but I wanna give you kind of the backstory of my teeth and kind of how I got to this point. So when we were living in Michigan, um, I had developed some sensitivity in a bottom molar, I think, um, and I had gone to my dentist in Michigan and they had said, um, basically the top teeth were sitting on the bottom in such a way that it was boring a hole in that bottom tooth, creating that sensitivity. So they said that I really needed to realign my jaw um, and realign my teeth and they told me that it could not be done with Invisalign, that it had to be traditional braces. And at this point I was getting married um, in like six months and I said, no, that's not gonna happen. So um, I just pushed it off and I said, I'm not gonna do it right now. And then when I got to Tampa, I talked to my dentist here and I gave him the same spiel about, you know, the sensitivity and, and the previous message I had been given. And um, they told me that it was possible to do it with Invisalign, um, that they are a preferred provider of Invisalign. Um, so it's my dentist. I don't think he's a, an orthodontist, um, you know, in addition, I think he is just a dentist, but they are a preferred provider. Um, the office has done, I think, thousands of cases of Invisalign. So, um, you know, I had thought about it a little bit more. Um, Chad has also done Invisalign in the past. My brother has done Invisalign and Karen um, from, well, she's not on YouTube right now, but any any old school peeps would know who Karen is. Um, she's the one in my Disney vlogs, usually. Um, she was just here this past weekend for a Disney vacay and we have those vlogs coming soon, so keep an eye out for those. But anyway, she's doing Invisalign right now. So it had always kind of been in the forefront of my mind um, and then I, um, just decided to go ahead with the process. So um, the process, as far as I remember it, <laughs> because it took several months just in rescheduling appointments and um, me deciding to do it, that sort of thing. Um, when I was initially thinking about it, they went ahead and took, um, what did they do? I think they took images of my teeth um, and sent it to Invisalign to basically come back with videos that show you start to finish what your teeth will look like. Let's just do a close up of my teeth um, to show you guys what I'm working with right now. This is day three of Invisalign. I started Monday, October 23rd, uh, 2017. So this is the third day and um, I have my, my trays out right now, but I am gonna pop them in um, soon because they need to go back in. I just had a snack, so I had to take them out. Um, but anyway, close up of my teeth. So this is top row. Top row, I've never had an issue with it really, um, but it does, it turns out that some of these uh, do need to be rotated a little bit, but my bottom is really where, you know, I have the cosmetic, um, like the crowding. So you see down here, I had crowding. This tooth is kind of in front of that one. And my just my teeth need to be lined up a little bit better, I think. So, um, and if you can see on my teeth right now, you see that? Those are called attachments, and we'll get to those in a second. But I am gonna put my um, liners in right now, just so you can see them out of my mouth. They're just clear plastic trays. Most people are familiar with what Invisalign is. Hmm. Oh, feeling some pain today, but oh well. Okay, I talk a little bit funnier with them in. I have a lisp. <laughs> um, so this is what they look like in. From far away, you know, you can't tell. But up close, you can see the spots for the attachments. 
sorry. <laughs> okay, so they took um, the images of my teeth. They never did impressions. Oh, wow. Lisp game is strong today. Um, and they gave me those progression videos. So when I said, okay, let's do it, um, then they basically sent the okay back to Invisalign. Invisalign created the trays. And um, when the trays came in, I was ready to go. They gave me uh, basically an estimate of 14 months for to fix my teeth and, and to get it all straight and in the end position. But they also gave me an option to do Propel, which is cutting the treatment in half. So it should be seven months. Um, and in Propel, there are two different options. You can either do an in-office procedure that will help, like I think it's mm, shaving down some teeth um, to move, to help, gosh, to give your teeth more space to move around. Um, it just, it speeds up that process. Or they give you an at-home option called the Propel V Pro 5. Well, this is what the box looks like, but you can't really see it. Propel. Um, and it is a kind of like a mouth guard option. So it looks like this. This. Um, so this goes into your mouth. It such sits there. And you would press this button and it vibrates for five minutes, um, different varying uh, speeds of vibration. And you do that, I, I was told to do it morning and night. Um, nighttime is especially helpful because it's right before you go to bed and your teeth are sitting in the trays for the longest period of time that they ever will be really. Um, so it, it helps to do that vibration right before bed so that the teeth have the most opportunity to move and, and all that jazz. So I decided, as you can see, to do this option because I don't like the dentist and I don't want to, I don't want any other procedures that I don't have to have. Um, and I was kind of scared about that procedure. So I said, I'll do the at home option. It was the same price. It didn't matter. Um, basically what happens is my, let's see, if I were to do 14 months, my insurance did cover part of it. I can't remember the final price that I'm Let's see, I can probably calculate it for you. Okay, so I think the entire price was in the 4,000 range. Um, my insurance does cover about half of that. So if I take my monthly payment that I'm doing now, and again, it was um, originally when it was a 14 month treatment plan, it was a lot less expensive because I had 14 months to break up that payment. Um, but because I chose Propel, I chose to cut it in half. Um, I really wanted to get it done as soon as possible. Um, so my payment right now is $3.55 a month. Um, I figured out, you know, they gave me the option of, you know, they gave me my impressions, they gave me my treatment plan, and then they said, there is this option of Propel. Think about it. Let me know what you want to do. If you want to do that, um, you know, we need to know in advance so that they can get everything set up that's needed for Propel. I mean, getting that that device, um, making sure I get the right amount of trays at my first visit. I think I got uh, the attachments put on a little bit early because of the Propel. From all the videos that I've watched on YouTube, not a lot of people get the attachments in the first visit. Um, you know, so I think that might be related to the Propel and, and cutting down the, the treatment time. So I am doing monthly payments. They did give me an option of paying it all at once and getting a discount, paying a large deposit, getting a discount. I just wasn't able to do that at that time. So that's why I chose the monthly payment option. Um, and when I figured out that I would able would be able to swing the Propel payment plan, um, I decided to do it. So I'm glad that I did because just in three days, sometimes I've caught myself thinking, what did I get myself into? But I'm excited for my teeth to get straightened, especially these guys. They've always been that way. As long as I can remember, they've been crowded like that. So I'm excited to see how they look. Um, so my experience in the first visit, just to recap you guys, again, it was Monday, October 23rd, 2017. I went into my dentist in the morning and um, 
they immediately like put me in the chair, said, okay, we're gonna put attachments on your teeth and just went at it. And I, I really didn't know that's what was happening in the first visit. It wasn't um, like painful or anything like that I would need to prepare myself for. It was just surprising that that's like immediately they just went into it. So I wasn't um, totally aware that that's what was gonna be happening. Um, but again, it was fine. I mean, it's uncomfortable like any dentist visit is uncomfortable where they're pulling your gums and pulling your, you know, moving your lips and all that kind of stuff. Not pulling your gums, pulling your lips out of the way and, and um, you know, holding things in place. So that was, that was it, but not bad at all. Um, so I was given, let me get my things. I was given four trays. So I have to come back in one month to get the other trays. Um, with the Propel, instead of, if I was doing the normal plan, the 14 months or any kind of normal plan they originally start out with for you, I think, um, you switch them every two weeks. But because I'm doing the Propel, I'm going to be switching them every week. Um, Chad has already warned me that I'm gonna be in immense pounds of pain because of that switching, but I, I'm just gonna take it like a champ. So um, here I have my three other trays that I have to do. Um, and they're labeled. So you see on here it says upper tray 429, lower tray 429. So I have 29 total trays or 29 total weeks to do this in. They also gave me, um, you know, I think they give everybody these, oh, uh, what are they called? I don't know. Cases to hold your um, trays when you have to take them out to eat, drink. Or um, also when you get your retainers, you can save one set in there. They didn't really explain it to me. They just said, here, put your trays in here. <laughs> um, so just day to day, I have to, in the morning, um, after I eat breakfast, I have to, oh no, before I eat breakfast, I have to take my trays out, eat breakfast. Then um, I brush and floss, or I fr floss, brush my teeth, Put my trays back in. I do brush my trays um, with no toothpaste because I was told that if you brush them with toothpaste, it can make them um, foggy because they're porous, so they're going to absorb some of that toothpaste. So um, I was told not to brush with toothpaste on my trays. So after I eat, floss, brush my teeth, I make sure my teeth, my trays are just brushed from the night. Um, I put them in. Then I have, you know, my mid-morning snack, let's say, I have to take out my trays, I um, eat. Sometimes, um, depending on the snack, and honestly, depending on how my mouth looks, I won't always floss, um, just because my teeth are very sensitive right now, you know, just with the movement and the frequent flossing. Um, sometimes I'll just like swish around. I Sometimes I will brush my teeth. For the snacks, I mean, main meals, I will floss and brush, um, but for the snacks, I don't do that already on day three. I'm already breaking the rules. Um, I do work at home, so it's very easy for me to, um, you know, floss, brush, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can drink clear liquids, so I'm just trying to drink water all day, air day. So that's fine. I did almost make a mistake though yesterday. I had tried, I had decided to flavor my water with like one of those little flavor packets and it was red, strawberry flavored. And I almost took a sip of it and I was like, oh my God, no. I would have had red teeth. Um, so I had to, I just saved it for when I was eating my snack and I just tried to chug as much as possible and then dumped it out and filled it with clear water, um, unflavored water. But if it was like Sprite or something like that, um, I've heard on videos, some people with white wine, I don't drink white wine, white wine, whoa, white wine on the regs. So that's not really a problem. Um, and that is about it, I think. What I plan to do is update you guys every month after my appointment where I get my new trays so that we can see the progression of my teeth um, I know that I'm probably, I know that I'm going to have IPR, which is, um, if you watch any videos, any other YouTube videos on Invisalign, they'll probably explain it better than I do, but it's where the doctor takes a tiny file and files down the side of your teeth. I mean, a millimeter, 
um, just to create that space for the teeth to move. So I know that I have to have that at some point um, on several teeth. Um, but that's that. And I think from what I've seen in YouTube videos that I'm gonna have to wear a retainer um, a few months after I'm done with my treatments and then a, retain a retainer all day for a few months after my treatments and then a retainer for the rest of my life at night. Um, Chad does wear his retainer at night sometimes. He wears it like once a week. Um, he got Invisalign, oh, maybe six or seven years ago, right? I mean, we went right when we started dating, so, um, yeah. So, that's my Invisalign story. Um, if you guys have any questions about Invisalign, go ahead and put them down below. If you have questions about where I've been, um, you know, I've been around. I've just been... Um, you know, kind of highly stressed out with my job. Um, and I, I've said it in the last video, I think that I posted that it's just that it's a new job and I need to figure out the lay of the land and get my mojo going and um, my routines going. So um, it's just been a lot of that. I'm jumping into another class on Monday. So I have to prepare for that. Um, and that is it. So. I'm doing Invisalign, y'all. Mm. Um, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Videos that are coming up. Vlogs from Disney with Karen. Um, potentially other Disney vlogs if I go to Disney. I am, for all of those people that are on my channel for Weight Watchers, I, at this point, um, don't plan on vlogging my food. Um, I'm not currently doing Weight Watchers and I won't be doing Weight Watchers for a while. Um, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, it might just be Invisalign vlogs, Disney vlogs at this point, uh, until something else changes. But, um, I will see you in a month for my Invisalign follow-up. Bye.